Hi everybody, it is Angela from Elegate Designs and I am back to share a custom journal with you today. Actually two, there'll be two separate videos. Um, so I was contacted by a lovely lady who wanted me to make her a nature animal themed journal for her daughter and she wanted it to have browns and greens and beiges and blues in it and she also wanted specific animals that her daughter liked um, squirrels, deer, raccoons, chipmunks um, just to name a few and then we also did some flowers and botanicals and butterflies and birds so this is that journal um, I've done a similar cover with this technique um, before and it reminded me of tree bark so I did it again for this journal because I thought that was quite fitting um, and it is two signatures that have been sewn in and it is chunky and I stuffed this thing full of images and journaling cards and and that type of stuff um, So the cover has been made out of um, some file folders and the inside is actually um, one of those vintage green file folder, um, the hanging file folders. And it's funny because you can see part of it is still the green color and some of it has faded into this more brown color. So I thought the real earthy tones of that worked with this journal. So in the front, I've done one of those um, altered paper bags and I've just put a few shipping tags in it that have been topped with some sari silk. Um, so there's lots of room in here for her to add more goodies. There is a ton of sewing in this journal. It's kind of my obsession right now. So all of my my journals will have sewing. Um, so I've just done a sorry silk ruffle and added um, a silk flower leaf there. Um, and I'm not going to pull out all of the images because that would take forever, but just so you have kind of an idea. Um, so there's bird images, there's some vintage raccoon images and then some little squirrel images um, when she had contacted me I kind of scoured the internet and found a bunch of um, copyright free vintage animal images that I incorporated into this journal and then I've also used some images from the graphics fairy as well in here uh, so there may have flying squirrel there some botanicals and this is just clipped on with a little blue binder clip um, I'm not gonna unclip it because all the cards will fall but it is a fold-out page and I did do a bunch of stamping throughout this journal too and I used the frayed burlap distress ink to stamp with because um, it has that nice greeny brown kind of color um, and it's light enough that it doesn't bleed through um, pages if you're stamping it on a thinner page. But I have different kind of like plant and butterfly stamps you'll see throughout. Um, little tuck spot here with some butterflies and this is bee culture image. Um, <clears throat> a little side pocket here, and this is some more, sorry, silk. Um, she didn't say to include bunnies, but I had found a couple of bunny rabbit images that I absolutely adored, so I did put a couple of those in there. And then I did a few of these fold-out journaling pages, um, that look like little envelopes. I want to say it was Paula Lemon. That I first saw this on I'm not 100% certain because I've seen everybody doing it now um, 
but if it wasn't Paula Lemon that started this, please correct me in the comments, because um, I do want to give credit where credit is due. And then I just used my Tim Holtz Field Notes stamp throughout here. Um, my idea for this journal was kind of like a, you know, nature field notes type of, of journal. Um, some wildflower stamps, graph paper, um, an envelope that got this botanical picture and I printed these, they're black and white and I printed them on craft paper and I just absolutely adore the way that they turned out. So there's a few of those in here. And I've done lots of shipping tabs, tags with uh, craft cardstock and then some manila as well and I use some jute twine on them. Um, this one I think is empty, yes. Um, so butterfly image and I love this this wood grain paper I thought it worked well um, I did do some feathers and some flowers in this journal and there's a couple different little notebooks this one I just stamped with field notes and a little feather and it's just full of little coffee dye paper for extra journaling there's a ton of room for journaling in this between all of the, the pages as well as all of the added cards. Um, bird images, some more stamping, more stamping up here. Um, she said that they wanted glassine bags in the journals as well. And this one, I don't think I put actual glassine bags, um, but I was watching a video by Crafty Irina um, talking about making your own bags, um, with like wax paper and such. And I have, um, this parchment paper that's a, a natural colored parchment paper that I use to coffee dye on top of sometimes. And so I made my own glassine bags from this. And inside is just a little image of a squirrel. So there's a couple of those in this journal. And it still gives you that, that noise that we love. All right, I'm gonna have to start flipping through kind of quick. <clears throat> um, some more images of raccoons and, and whatnot in this envelope. And then this side has some birds. Everything's coffee stained. Um, inked, I used a bunch of different inks. I used Vintage Photo, the Frayed Burlap, um, and Gathered Twigs in this. Um, large envelope that's all been sewn, and I don't have anything in there. A botanical image, and another shipping tag in this envelope. A large pocket here. With this cute little raccoon. Uh, this is another one of the booklets I made and the image is just some butterflies and moths and it's open so you can slide this little shipping tag behind it and then it's just full again of different different papers for more journaling. So this is, you know, kind of very chunky. Um, a ton of the, the elements are removable, which will make this much more flat and usable for writing. Um, so she can take out anything that she wants to take out. Um, so some deer images and some more squirrels. And I just decoupaged some little leaves on this pocket here and sewn some some textiles. Um, now this image, she didn't request boxes, but I, I found it when I was scouring for images and I just thought it was so adorable. I just loved his little face and so I did include that one. Another one of the botanicals on the other side of that envelope with the shipping tag. And some bird images. This side here is a nature image with another shipping tag. A little chipmunk. And this is all, sorry, self, um, 
She said, I asked her if she wanted me to do the page ruffles, and she said some would be fine, just not every page. Um, so I did try to go with Sorry Silk um, in more like natural tones as opposed to doing like big frou-frou lace. She said too I could incorporate some lace, so you will see a little bit of lace, but very little because I wanted to stay with this kind of natural theme for the nature journal. Um, tentacles, butterflies, a little belly band with some more birds. And I used some of Tsunami Rose's butterflies um, that I cut out and incorporated. Um, some bird images and more deer images and another one of the field notes, extra journaling. Um, and this is just some coffee dyed cheesecloth and it says notes on it. So there's lots of pockets and goodies. Um, this is more squirrels and chipmunk. And this is another flip out, fold out page. Um, but it's clipped with the, the binder clip in the images right now. Um, I've got this little tag with a pocket um, and it's the sheet protectors plastic that I've sewn on there and inside is just a couple of these photo log cards that I stamped um, I thought they kind of worked with the whole nature field guide theme so there's a couple of those throughout this book um, bird image and another one of the field notes. I'm going to try and get through this quickly in the next few minutes here. Some more butterflies, birds, the alphabet of flowers image here that's a little pocket. Um, some more flowers and deer and this cute little bunny rabbit. Um, and then I used the sheet protector and I cut it down to the size I wanted and taped it with some masking tape and sewed it so that there are these large see-through pockets. So you can stash some stuff in there. And another one of the journaling books and this one has some bird images on the front. Another large pocket all been sewn all the way around and graph paper another one of those parchment bag that I made and it just has this large image of eggs in it and another egg image in the other side of that sheet protector pocket Some more images and feather. It's a belly band with another bird image. Um, this is one of Tsunami Rose's decoupage flowers. And I've got a picture of some black squirrels. Some more sorry silk. Another flying squirrel. Uh, I've got a kind of double pocket belly band here with a couple of shipping tags and the other side of that tag with another pocket with more photo logs in it. Um, and the last page has some more images of some moose, deer, birds, and botanicals and another leaf. And on the back is one of these um, envelopes. I don't have anything in it, but it is also open in the back as a pocket. So more space for her to tuck goodies and memories in. So uh, Amelia, I hope your daughter loves this. And thank you all for watching today. I'll be back with another video here in a minute. Bye guys.